So what is a hyperreal number? Well, it's a number that is either super, super large, say well past a trillion, or it's a number that is so super small that it, it, re it goes towards zero, but it never is actually zero. Okay? And this has a lot to do with uh, sequences and series, which I have not yet talked about in my videos, but we'll talk about in a future video. But that's basically what a hyperreal number is. You're going to find this in sequences and series. Uh, you'll have like uh, a se series of numbers, and one number set is going to be bigger than the other number set, and so therefore the smaller number set would be your hyperreal numbers. And that's just kind of a generalization. We'll get into a lot more specifics about it in a future video. But that's basically how that goes. Or you'll have a series of numbers in which one set of numbers gets to be to the point of infinity. And then another set of numbers is not quite to that point. And so the bigger set would be your um, hyperreal numbers. Okay? So you're going to have like a superset of numbers that would not only include the set below it, but also that one as well. And it, it, it like I said, it gets incredibly complicated. Uh, but uh, you're well, more than welcome to look up hyperreal numbers. Uh, I will cover this further in depth in a future video. Uh, but there are things that you need to be taught about first: uh, the ellipse, the hyperbola, the parabola, the circle. Uh, and, of course, I've already taught you about number sets. So, uh, that's where hyperreal numbers come in. Either the number is infinitesimally small, or it's infinitesimally large, or, you know, just super large. So, it, that's where you get your hyperreal numbers from. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.